The Cathedral Treasure Museum is in the Archbishop's Palace, quite near the majestic St. Eusebio Basilica in Vercelli, European capital of rice and seat of a lot of artistic treasures. The museum welcomes the visitor through an enchanting route of history, art and spirituality. Among the many treasures the museum is rich in, the famous Vercelli book is actually outstanding. It is an old Anglo-Saxon manuscript belonging to the end of the 10th century. Together with the other three manuscripts, in Exeter, British Library and Bodleian Library, it preserves the most part of the old English poetic and prose production that is still extant. It is still a mystery the reason why the manuscript was found in the Capitulary Library in Vercelli at the beginning of the 11th century. So far, several experts have tried to find it out through paleographic studies and other through the analysis by means of advanced technologies such as virtual restoration. Anyway, the manuscript seems to be strictly bound to Bishop Leone, who, as a keen bibliophile and a fond of art man as he was, between the 998 and 1026 ordered a series of incommensurable value masterpieces. These are testified by several annotations and written on some books of his that today are preserved in the splendid halls of the Capitulary Library and by the majestic crucifix covered with thin gold and silver lawyers hanging over the altar in the central aisle of Basilica. The Bishop Leone was a votary of St. Eusebio, the proto-bishop of Vercelli, who, according to the tradition, wrote the most ancient translation of the Gospels from Greek to Latin, dating back to the end of 4th century and still kept in the Capitulary Library. Eusebio is portrayed on the 9th century silver bookbinding, ordered by King Berengario and given to the cathedral chapter as a gift. In the same room, another object is the visitor's attention. It is the bookbinding of a richly illuminated Evangelizario made in Vercelli's scriptorium in the beginning of the 13th century. The binding, which dates between to 11th century, is wonderfully decorated in gold lawyer, cloisonné and clampevé enamel. And the same goes for the decoration of the St. Catherine reliquary from Limoges, belonging to the 13th century. Besides, a visitor may enjoy the sight of other Gothic masterpieces, such as the two bag reliquaries made of wood covered with gold and silver lawyer, and the other made of ivory. The rooms and the halls have also frescoes, lacunar sailings with the initials and the coat of arms of Agostino Ferrero, who was the bishop in the beginning of the 16th century and who donated a series of valuable holy objects and furnishings to Vercelli's church. The picture gallery is on the first floor of the palace. There are one can admire some pictures by Bernardino Lanino, Pietro Gramorseo, Giuseppe and Girolamo Giovenone. All of them were important and well-known painters of the 16th century in Italy. This is the atmosphere which surrounds whoever is willing to start a true and fascinating travel back to the past, plunging into a world of gold, culture and faith. A world that had started with Bishop Eusebio when the Roman Empire hadn't been pulled out yet by the barbarian tribes from the north, and that today still keeps going through the witness of those ages so charming and unique for Vercelli Church, such as Middle Ages and Renaissance.